Hello, I'm Matthew Doty, and I'm here to an analyze the Duke basketball 2016-2017 season. Now, to start off, uh, they did lose uh, Mason Plumlee and Fr uh, Brandon Abram, as well as uh, Derek Thorin to transferring. But that doesn't mean they're out of contention or anything. They did get a really good recruiting class with Marcus Bolden, Frank Jackson, Jason Tatum, and Harry Giles. Now, being, I think, the number one recruiting class, maybe second to Kentucky, I don't know, they will come back as, like, a really good team for a contention of the NCAA title. Now, does that mean they're actually going to win it? It's hard to say right now towards, like, some good teams like Kentucky, uh, Villanova, who was last year's uh, NCAA champion, and also Kansas with uh, their rotation, their uh, returning stars. Now, to say the least, I think they have a really good team with a rotation of t maybe eight to ten guys with uh, uh, transfer uh, Sean Obi and uh, Australian basketball player J Jack White, as well as having uh, returning Luke Kennard, who was like one of the best uh, three-point shooters in the nation, and also Chase Jeter coming back, who can be uh, a second to uh, either Emil Jefferson or uh, Harry Giles, at least, if he's going to be starting at point power forward or center. He can play any position of that. And then Matt Jones. And then, to say the least, I will, they do have nine guys or six to eight. Now, some of them don't even play that much or probably won't be in the rotation. But, to say the least, they are a really tall team, and it's going to be hard for some teams that are shorter, and pretty much the ACC is going to be a tough season with uh, North Carolina in the mix, and maybe Louisville. Notre Dame's always there, but since they lost some players in uh, draft, they're probably not going to be that good. But to say the least, Duke's probably going to be the best team in the a in the ACC with the fact of their players and their recruits. Uh, now, regular season, they probably are going to do well. It's just the matchups. Uh, if they're going to face any team like Kentucky or uh, maybe Indiana, it's going to be... A, a tight game, but I think they can come out on top. Uh, postseason, they probably will be facing North Carolina in the uh, ACC championship game if it comes down to that, as I think both are 1 2 in the conference. Uh, now, the tournament, now that's like saying, oh, who's going to win? No one thought Villanova was going to win unless you're from Bellanova or something like that. As well as, like, it could be a little bit mixy, but uh, the 2014-2015 season actually put Duke as the winning over Wisconsin, in Wisconsin being Kentucky and all that. So there's some uh, chance that they may win, and it would be uh, Krzyzewski's uh, sixth title. Uh, or Duke's sixth title, the same least, but it's hard to say right now, and I think that they have a good chance, and I feel like they'll be number one for most of the season, the same least.